Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan episode number 30, perhaps. Boy, I'm still on version 1.18, but that's because there was a, a couple bugs introduced in 1.2 that they're already up to now. Um, I think that version 1.2 was actually supposed to be a fix to some of the problems in 1.19. I'm not tracking it very closely, but those are... I mean, I'm just waiting on 1.21. Hopefully things stabilize a little bit then. We're missing a few good things in those patches, but I think we'll be able to get along fine. Most importantly, it's it's peace time. This is my favorite time. I was loading up the game and I was like really excited that we're at peace. <laughs> like really excited. Because <clears throat> the tactical stuff is fun, but I mean the, the meat and the potatoes of this game to me is the strategic decisions you're making in between wars. Well, it makes sense, of course. That's why I designed an auto-resolve simulator, because sometimes, to me, the tactical has too much of a focus. So, better armor. I'm going to have to talk a little bit quieter tonight, since I'm trying to record while the uh, family is sleeping. Which is normally what I do, and I normally try to keep this in focus. <clears throat> but, uh, some of the parties involved are a little bit more sleepless than usual. Okay, so reserve fleet, active fleet. Once we get our patrol boats back, um, sorry, not minesweepers, corvettes. Once we get our corvettes back out, we'll go ahead and launch those over into the other sea zones so we can bring everyone else back. We can actually see how much we're over yeah, we're double in Southeast Asia, so we have 10,000 extra. And we're pretty much at the right amount for South Pacific. Who do we want to take out of Southeast Asia? Okay, that right there is exactly the 9,000, which means we probably have one ship somewhere. What the heck? What the heck? What's going on? Oh, these guys are probably can go to active. Are these short range ships though? If they're short range, they don't count. No, they're not. I'm counting 9,000 right here. Oh, I'm reading it backwards. Okay, now everything's making sense. We need 19,000 and we only have 9,000. Okay, perfect. We get it. I get it exactly. Who was it that I was putting on? Um, yes, yeah, so we need both of these guys down there, unfortunately. Okay, let's do that. Let's just move them on, on down. Uh, did I only grab one? I, I did. <clears throat> it might be better for us to do this with the battleships that we want to keep on active fleet, but I guess that's nobody right now. Not until the new ones come out, perhaps. And hopefully we do get the new the new ones we just laid down. I really hope we are able to get those in time for the next war, which may be against Russia, starting to look that way. Early developments. <laughs> okay, so we'll get these guys, unfortunately, to be also on active, or sorry, foreign stations. Good. Um... Yeah, and then what we can do is actually move some of these destroyers back. Although we don't really want to do that either. Because I want to have some destroyers in these other zones in case we get a surprise attack. Just in case we have it against, you know, like France or Great Britain. And they, they no longer have any reason to put ships in Northeast Asia. In fact, you know, even Russia hardly has a, a reason to leave ships here. I don't think we can blockade her. Yeah, I'm sure we cannot blockade her from the east, so. That is interesting. You can blockade Russia from this side. Although, I, you know, that actually does make sense because you can blockade, I mean, you could blockade the west part. I mean, the, the Trans-Siberian uh, Railroad is, uh, is that what it's called? I'm blanking on the name, but something like that. It's a slow way to get supplies. You'd probably rather get them by ship than have somebody sail all the way around the world and drop them off on the other <laughs> on the other side of Russia. So, 
a fair amount of money, which we're going to save and build a second Daigoji. Again, I'm sorry about the pronunciations, but um, yeah, uh, just to, I have to make this comment at least once per series, just in case people haven't followed previous series or don't play enough themselves to know this. When you are building, rebuilding anything, um, replacing machinery is almost always a cost inefficient measure. Um, so you can look at that yourself or you can go back to any of my previous series where I probably talked more about it. Um, but it's about a third the cost of a new vessel and usually you get like two or three knots more out of it. So you can think of it as like maybe a 10% a increase in just speed, not in armor, not in anything else, not in guns, not in ammo, not in secondaries, not in torpedoes. It's 10% only to your speed and that costs a third the cost of an entire new ship. So it's it's just really not worth it. And there are edge cases when it is. Most importantly, I mean, the, the most obvious case to me is if you're under an, a naval treaty. And I don't think we've had any treaty, like disarmament treaty restrictions this playthrough so far. That would be fun, I, w I would not mind that. I mean, I would mind that right now, but I would not mind that as soon as we finish some battleships. Okay, good. Enables unit machinery. I frankly don't know what that means. Depth charges, okay, that's very good. Um, no. Have we made air groups for these guys yet? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, no. So we'll go ahead and do this and I'll just copy this template. Oh, actually I may not even want to do it until we get closer to a war. 34 though, in my head we'll do 10, 12, 12, yeah, it's pretty clear, 10, 12, 12. 10 fighters, 12 torpedo bombers, 12 torpedo bombers. So, especially with, um, oh, we need new, we need a new set of light cruisers, although I can't afford them yet because we, is it time? Nine months on this one. It's five million a month. Oh my god, this Daigoji is so expensive. That'll put us at negative 2.2 if we were to do another one. We need to do another one as soon as possible, but we need to be able to do it. Okay, negative 2.2. We actually could last 10 months at that, which means this one would finish, but then it's possible our funds will increase by then. I'm going to wait one more month and then I'm going to go ahead and do it. I mean, I know that we want a larger dock size eventually, but we have other things to worry about. Quadruple torpedo mounts, that's fantastic. Pretty much, uh, I think that once you get to the triple torpedo mounts, you're you're doing okay. You don't usually need anything more than that. Yeah, and I think it's going to be time for us to build some... Uh, these are minesweeping. As, as far as I remember, these are minesweeping corvettes. But yeah, these are minesweeping gear. So... If I remember correctly, minesweeping and ASW do not play nicely together. Now that we have depth charges, I think that might improve the ASW of different ships, but um, I think it's also a good time for us to, we can div divide up the minesweepers and we'll probably build a second class of Corvette because this is probably barely enough now to satisfy ASW requirements or trade protection requirements. So it would be good for us to build another Corvette and uh, we can put that one not with minesweeping. We can have uh, that one focused on ASW. Although I do, yeah, I mean, I, I like the fact that we did the minesweeping with our original. So um, how many do we need now to completely replace? First, we can go over here, put these guys on active fleet and probably move them back home. So what was it again? We need 19,000. Wow, that's actually, that's brutal. We have 26 total. And what do we need for South Pacific? Because I will put the bare minimum there. 3,000, which means because these guys are 25% more, I think, well, five will certainly cover it, <laughs> obviously, because five is 3,000. I wonder if four will do it. So I'm gonna put four there for now, and we'll see what happens. And I'll put an, an extra one in the Southeast Asia so that 
Yeah, I'll, I'll put him one extra in the Southeast Asia so that just in case this is not enough, we have a person who's only one C zone away ready to, to go help out. But that's, so that's an extra for now. I don't want to include that one in the number going to Southeast Asia. And Southeast Asia itself, it needs 19,000. We want to keep 9,000 worth of destroyers in there because all the destroyers I currently have, I'm just going to keep there. I'd rather get the heavy cruisers back home and on reserve. So with 9,000, we need 10,000 worth of points. Um, I don't remember, so 10,000. I wonder how much 10 is. 10, this is 6,000. It's 25%, I can't remember. God, Colonial, what is it? Uh, somebody let me know in the comments. <sighs> just, I'm blanking on the number, but if it's, let's just say 20% to be conservative, because I think it's at least 20%. If it's 20%, then we get uh, and this is 6,000. Yeah, we're no, we're, we're, we're not even to, we're at 7,500. Not even. So we'll need three more. So let's send this many. I think this might be enough. Send this many to Southeast Asia. I don't have a hard calculation. I don't even know what this would be. I mean, I know what it is only in its raw value, 7,800, but I don't know what that will mean. And a 20% boost to 7,800 will not be enough, but a 30% boost would be, right? Yes, yes, uh, 7,500 is the, is the magic number. So that's what, what I'm basing that on. We'll see if that actually you know is true or not. And I think I'm gonna mothball the rest. We don't, we obviously don't need them. They don't need to have good quality or anything, so. And now that means 2,800, not a big change, but I did say that this is the turn we build another, or was that, was it this turn? Did we, did we go a turn? I already forget. I'm gonna build it anyway. And the name, ah, the name. I have to actually find the name. Well, it turns out there was no um, supporters list. I, I was actually able to just hit suggest and this is what came up. So congratulations to, to whoever this is. This is a normal person. Just, I don't know who this is, but they've won themselves a battleship. Good, okay, so we'll hit okay on this. Get the Saitama underway. Minus two, so that worked out pretty much how I thought it would. Hmm, minus two, interesting. Now here's the big question. Oh, that's ugly. Um, let's get you. Okay, let's see the active. So, what happens now if we move these guys back? We're we gonna put them back on foreign station if they don't end up satisfying the numbers. But I have a feeling that we should be satisfying the numbers, and then some. Oh, okay. So. I don't need to do this, I can take a look. This is 14,000. I didn't take a look at how much these are actually being counted for, unfortunately. Because yeah, this 166, this is because I think this is over 6,000. 1,000 tons is only treated as like 30, is it 33% of it? Which would give us this number very nicely, I think. It would not. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, it could. <laughs> I don't know how the calculation is done. Let's pretend that I have 6,333 twice. So that's 12,666, which means that this is 23 flat. 23,000 flat. No, no, 23,500. Is that right? No, no, I'm off by 1,000, 22,500. So it seems like we are gonna be completely fine. In fact, we have more than enough. And again, we have one extra because one extra is waiting to move, like to, move to um, South Pacific if we need it. I'm gonna swap just because I like order. <laughs> we'll do that one instead. So I'll probably put one of these back up since apparently it's not needed. 
Yeah, well, we might as well keep it there just in case. TNT, explosive shells. Oh my gosh, we gotta get a new aircraft type. What are we doing? So, torpedo bomber time. Hopefully we've made a breakthrough now and we can get something a little bit better. I think I'm gonna go with range and reliability. We'll try that. Speed would be my number two, typically, but let's see if we can get something reliable that just happens to also have speed. That would be great. I would not complain. So, I wonder if we can even squeeze a third one of these. I really like this class. I would prefer to have three. Boy, what a beast. By the way, in the newer patches, 1.19 on, I think, um, for strategic points, it's no longer a thing. So having my battleships around are gonna be like almost inconsequential. I think we can scrap them. I'm not gonna do it yet because technically we're not on that patch. I don't know, I actually might wanna, but they, look at their maintenance is 48 under mothball. It's just so little. Anyways, they still do count for strategic points. Was that eight or seven points, something like that? Or is it nine, I don't know. Um, but they won't they won't count for much. It'll be tonnage based in the new patches, which I'm I'm appreciative of. That's a good change. Why the blockade decision? I've like beaten this dead horse so many times. Why is it that you only need 10% more points, whatever, however it's calculated based on those strategic points or based on tonnage, however you want to determine it? I've always said this is so stupid. If I have 11 battleships and you have 10, we're practically at parity. We're almost exactly the same. And neither side is gonna say, hey, because I have 11 battleships and you only have 10, I'm obviously superior. That's just kind of lunacy. In my opinion, you, need, you should need like something crazy, like 50% to blockade. And really, it's not about ships, it's, about, uh, it's not about the number of ships in a 1-1 comparison. Like, cruisers and things which can actually track down um, merchant ships, you're not gonna have battleships out you know, your battleships, like the Bismarck was out raiding convoys. Uh, yeah, it's like you need convoy raiders or you need people to like stop convoys to, to, you know, have a blockade. So it's not like, it's not about the battle fleet itself. The blockade comes from like be, one, being able to do it. You need two things, I think. One, your ability to actually blockade, which needs light ships or actually it's just quantity of ships. It doesn't matter if you, a, a battleship, a destroyer, both can easily stop a merchant ship. You don't need a big ship to stop a merchant ship. Any warship will do. So you have to have capability and that should be number of ships based. But you also have to have a superior fleet than your enemy, which means that if they try to pursue your blockading force, if they go to your ports or something and they say, hey, we're gonna wait so that you can't just harass our merchants, then it's not a blockade. Now you can just use raiders. That would enter in the raider system. You can like move people to raider, um, but you should no longer be blockading. Anyway, that's my two cents. Um, yeah, we'll sell this because money is money. And all I can think about is how are we gonna get our next battleship? I really want the third one. Uh, yes, in fact, it, the money we just sold is essentially just going to give us fire control instead. And now we have CLs, light cruisers with, um, okay, superimposed guns on destroyers as well. Interesting. So now we have director for our light cruisers. And I think that immediately we should refit these because this is an important thing. Darn. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what it's there for. <laughs> we don't need it there, but that's what it's there for. Now, if I go down, can I just increase this? Yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> Weight reasons. So we'll, we'll stick it at seven for now. Save this. And that'll be three months at, yeah, it's a pretty cheap refit. It is a little bit costly though. We'll, oh my God. Good Lord. <laughs> 
I think that those ships were on reserve, so they were not, they were very cheap, but that is expensive then. Well, one mistake we've made is not put these guys onto reserve. I hate to ruin their good, wait, do these guys need to be refit? No, they're already on director. Everything looks good here. Yeah, they're not very good ships, but you know, we know that. And again, they work for strategic points, although that is going away. I'm really happy that thing is going away. Because now you don't have to make, I mean, you just make designs naturally, a little bit more naturally. All right, reserve fleet. I hate to ruin your good crew status, but money is money. And I'm really happy to see that we're not gaining tensions with anyone. So we can just kind of power through some turns. How's our sub situation? No, I actually just want to check. 87. We have lost a few. What's our research looking at like lately? The quadruple turrets. Um, it's suspected that I stole the research quadruple turrets from somebody while I was researching it because for some reason I think I got improved quadruple turrets from stealing it by a spy and I must have been already researching quadruple turrets at that time and apparently this is I don't know this is what Katori has said but I haven't verified this so it might not be true but um, Katori says that you can actually the game actually forces you to continue to research it when you grab it uh, when a spy grabs a tech from someone else it doesn't stop you from researching that same tech necessarily which doesn't make sense to me but okay okay German possession of the Marshall Island it's the Marshall Islands too oh my gosh well we obviously should create problems for them nothing happened okay they've improved this very moderately in firepower and in fact in no other way over the rebellion the Marshall Islands now actually it's a little bit weird I probably shouldn't have done this the Marshall Islands because um, having the in the rebels there it actually if it disappears I cannot conquer it obviously the only way for me to conquer it is if I go to war with Germany but if it becomes neutral like the rebels basically start their own nation and it's not a nation you can go to war with so there's no way you can ever acquire it which is kind of a bummer it's also not so bad because I don't know what I can't remember it I think this is Central Pacific I'm pretty sure it's Central Pacific we can check Central Pacific possessions there it is yeah so if it goes away, it's just the only reason why I guess it's a bummer is that it'll probably make invading central the anything else impossible, at least for a long time. Speaking of research, I think we did that. Yeah, I think I'm going to move this up. It's probably about time. I don't know if it's yet time, but I would like another amphibious invasion tech. Oh, nice. Okay, we got all of our, all our people back. Get them immediately right on to. Oh, did we send our? Did we send them back yet? Who's still? Yeah. Okay. Everyone's on reserve except for these guys. Who? Yes. We're gonna immediately go to reserve. And then the Kushinos. They're so old. I don't think I'm gonna establish director firing on them. Let me just see. Uh, five, six-inch gun broadside. Very good armor though. just kind of hard I don't know I don't know if I want that or not what I want most of all are new cruisers I really like this design the Chun Chun Maru's this is probably one of my favorite cruiser designs I've, I've made in a while I think what we'd like to do next I mean obviously we're still trying to build another battleship and we are in this zone where we're stuck not building light ships in order to you know somehow afford more heavy ships I think that's okay because we are pretty light ship heavy as it is we already have carriers out and we're building a new carrier and I mean an actual I mean it's a conversion uh, a fleet carrier conversion Corvettes we might actually need some more now 
Submarines look good. Destroyers looks really, really good. <clears throat> so it's just come down to light cruisers, and I think we're doing okay there. Yeah, yeah. I would like new light cruisers just to replace the Machinos, which are a little bit old now. Or Kushinos. Okay, and there's the carrier. Interesting. Ah, 16-inch guns. I'm so glad we have this new one coming. New prototypes. Let's see here. Okay, speed is better. Range is better. This top one is going to be the one. Yeah. Perfect. We'll take it. Oh my gosh. Our funds are very, very low. But it is slowly drying up. I mean, we have five more turns before we go negative. I don't want to do it, but I, I think I'm going to mothball these guys. It didn't add much. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, instead of mothballing them, can I mothball? I dare not. Oh, wait. Here's one. Reserve. Active fleet. Oh yeah, you. To mothball. Okay, that actually helped a lot. And you only have 25 aircraft, so it's it's kind of a shame. Honestly, the can we build now a custom built? I think you still have to get the tech. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that you have to get the tech. And we haven't developed yet. This will just help us get it. Or can we build custom made ones? Just put this up to an absurd amount. Just pretend that. Pretend we can do this. Um, yeah, it, we haven't got it, I'm sure, because we haven't gotten the tech. You need the tech which says you can build a maximum of 24,400. Yeah, so we can only build carriers 20,000 right now. And we'd rather wait for something a little bit better, I think. I mean, I don't think 20,000 is going to get us anything. Okay, let's take a look at something with this 24. Like, what the hell is up with this, though? Seriously, this is a very bad design. Two, two, no conning tower. Well, come on, just 2.5, humor me. Down to two, 2.5, zero for the secondaries, I think. We're not going to go with secondaries. Um, these are 8-inch guns, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we haven't developed purpose-built large aircraft carriers yet, so that's the first line is all I had to read. Not yet, but hopefully soon. We'll continue to buy technology. All right, that's a little bit better. We're down to 3,500, but we're only minus 900, so hey, we're still sitting on about four turns. <laughs> Maybe there's somebody else we can mothball here. Oh yeah, these these destroyers can come home. And then they can be put into a uh, mothball. Um this is not a good idea for since it's not a good time. We uh, we just don't have the money for it and we need the tensions to give us more money, so yeah. Okay, you guys still need one more turn to come back. The new patch also modifies the pathfinding algorithm between sea zones so that ships are not going to do something stupid like this, move into a sea zone where they have no ports. If it takes the same amount of time to go, in this case, to Northeast Asia, but whatever your destination is, they will prioritize routes which have bases. So that's, that's a very good thing. Very good progress in the game, you know? Frederick is still working on it. Um, Italy, forget them. Okay, Germany has crushed the rebels. That's probably a good thing. Russia still, still getting a little bit aggravated. In fact, we really can't take anything from Russia. I guess we would take Kamchatka and then we'd have to do foreign stations there. It's not too bad. We could we could build some more corvettes. 
Um, and then we take the rest as reparations, I guess. <clears throat> so that, that might be very lucrative. Two more months, it's all we have. Things are getting dire. Oh god, 18 months. I don't think this is sustainable. I'm thinking we gotta like mothball some stuff, but this is so little. It's not gonna help. Active fleet. <gasps> what is going on here? These guys are back. Mothball. Okay, yeah, did not help much, but it does guarantee us two more turns. Okay. Yeah, what's the situation here? I think all of our carriers are going to go to Mothball. And I'm assuming... Oh. <clears throat> Actually, the Oichi has probably got to get scrapped now. She's more expensive than our other carriers to maintain. And she's... I mean, I hate to say it, but she's garbage. <laughs> so we are going to scrap her before we do that. Definitely want to take her air group and move it. We'll move it to the Antake. Yeah. Because the Antake only has 25. Essentially, the Antake is going to be scrapped pretty soon herself, as soon as we, you know, don't, no longer, as soon as we, you know, have gotten the technology for purpose built fleet carriers. But the Oichi has served her purpose. Thank you, Oichi, for your valiant service. The hero. I mean, this is a hero ship. We should have done this a little bit earlier, but I wasn't really min-maxing very well. And that might be a good thing to kind of lay off. And and someone mentioned in the last video that um, they you know don't like to think about these ships just being sold off for scrap. When I say scrap, sometimes I also think, oh, maybe they were sold to another country like Brazil or something. I like to think about it. Uh, you know, I like to role play that these ships aren't just melted down. You know, something like the Oichi, she's very valuable still to a uh, non-carrier producing nation as, you know, I mean, even one of these other great powers might want a ship like that if we would sell her to them, but um, nah, they would probably build it themselves. Yeah, some other nation that would be interested in having some carrier, like some scout planes. So we are going to make it two more turns still after this one. Magazine box protection scheme. That's pretty interesting. Way ahead of our time here. I think. 1925? I don't know, actually. Maybe not. Okay, improved fighter. Much better range. Much better speed. Wow. They must have put in, like, a, you know, just a simply better engine. Reliability was still poor. I did catch that. That is not what I want to see. Um, well, I just love playing the strategic side of this map, our game. Ah, just love it. A lot of interesting decisions. 17 more months until our first one rolls off. Uh, yeah, this is like the perfect timing. <laughs> By all means, please save my financial crisis. <laughs> please. We could always cut down research since research has been pretty useless to us. And we can see the cost breakdown mostly on construction right now because it's so funny. The construction maintenance of every ship that we have is the cost of one battleship being built. That's crazy. It kind of makes a nice case for keeping ships longer. Um, not that it's financially smart. But it might be, it's like when you're in debt and all you can do is pay one, the next month's like loan. Uh, you can't think about just paying off the loan, so you don't do that. You just pay one month at a time. You just basically like stave off the reaper. So I feel like you might have to do in situations where we're in, where, you know, you have these battleships, for example, we do. Instead of scrapping these and building a new battleship, which would be so much more effective than all four of these. Um... And ultimately, maybe the maintenance of it wouldn't be that much more than, you know, and we can see the maintenance of these uh, other battleships on reserve is uh, <clears throat> even on reserve and not mothballed. Yeah, these battleships, the old pre-dreadnought battleships are pretty expensive still. Anyway, what are, we, what are we looking at here? 
Oh god, we just... <laughs> we need it, so we're gonna take it, but we're now negative in money. The only way I can think we to solve this is maybe to... Hmm. Let's look at our air bases and maybe uh, maybe we can see what if we need all of them still. Okay, I don't think we need any of these air bases, so we're gonna scrap the bases at Wei Hai Wei, any at Lao Tong Peninsula, any at Kashiao Bay. So we got Sing Tua, Wei Hai Wei, Port Arthur, or Dalmi. We're gonna scrap those bases because, and actually, I should move their squadron somewhere else as well. So this is not maybe going to be entirely helpful just because we're still going to pay for the planes somehow. Okay, so way high way, we're going to abort this one because I'm not expecting us to fight anymore. Is this a good decision? In my mind, uh, Sing Tua would be a good one to keep because it will... Maybe way high way is a good one to keep. I don't know. Are we ever going to get into... The ones up here might be used against Russia, but I don't think that these will. Let's take a look at those bases again. Okay, southeast, northeast, northeast, there it is. So right now we have Wei Hai Wei. So, so Korsakov has a 20. Hakodate. What can I? I mean, I don't think the bases themselves are that expensive. It's mainly the aircraft. I'm gonna leave it. We'll see. We'll see after the. I mean, it's not gonna. It probably is not enough to save us from this situation. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Uh, really, it's my. It's honestly not a very good. Does not make me happy. There might be some wiggle room we have to mothball or something. Reserve more people um oh yeah we didn't end up reserving or mothballing these guys which what um uh, that's some kind of bug right Oh, good, we got him better amphibious invasions. Good. Oh, we halted. Of course, we halted. Okay, let's resume construction now. Yeah, well, okay, we're, we're doing okay, though. That should have been the only turn we'll have to, the only month we'll have to pause construction. It's still kind of cool to think about having to pause construction. Like, you can imagine, okay, hey, we don't have enough. We're going to have to postpone um, work for one month while we collect enough funds. You know, we go... Especially as Japan, we go begging door to door. No, that would they would not beg, but asking if people want to have the the you know the the pride in their nation to donate some money, <laughs> whatever it is. Invasion ranges though are looking really good, so pretty much anything can be invaded now. I mean, with our current locations, yeah, all of this can be invaded. Okay, Appiah is still alone, cannot invade the Fiji. Yeah, Fiji. But anything we want in this area can be invaded in Southeast Asia. Maybe Singapore can be, yeah. So Kota, what, what is this? Malaya? I don't know, is Malacca considered part of Singapore? Yeah, it is not. So, Ma I mean, Malacca is considered part of Southeast Asia. Good, okay. So we are probably not quite able to invade Malaya. That's the only one. And certainly we will be able to invade it if... I mean, we could leap. We could leapfrog, though. This is kind of cool. We could island hop over to Singapore and then over to Malacca or Malaya. Okay, so there's... It's good. Use it to embarrass the U.S. I mean, I do not want to go to war with the U.S., but tensions would not be... I, I would like tensions. Send a diplomatic note, stupid Italy. Now that we have a little bit... Oh, we don't really have money. Okay. 
And I can see it's uh, 39 minutes. Uh, we'll go a couple more minutes. Why not? Southeast Asia. This is how many? 14. Um, let's take a look. How many do we have here? Oh, we have 19,500. Wow. So we are exactly perfect on the number of ships, which means 14 equals 10,500. Let's pull up our calculator here. 750, okay, so, uh, okay, it's 25%. I, sh I should have been able to do that math. <laughs> 750, 600 divided by four is 150, so it should be pretty clear, but anyway. So 25%, we did the math. Yay, we know, it's 25% now. So those of you who posted that comment already, thank you. I'm sorry that I had to find out without your helpful comment. Oh God, we don't have the money. And yes, we'll still take that. Yep, I don't see any other way around it. We're gonna have to pause yet again. Go asking around, see who can collect enough money. Oh my God. And we wanted to build a third one. <laughs> We're having a hard enough time as it is building two. There's gotta be a way for, to save a little bit of money. And even scrapping these four would only get us 200. It's just so little. It's so little. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, I think we have to just stick with it. Uh, one more month like this. Oh my gosh. A regional war seems imminent on the Asian mainland. One of our major arms manufacturers wants to step up exports to the likely belligerents. What is your reaction? A strong arms industry is a guarantee of our national security. We should sell to anyone who wants to buy. Definitely, definitely, definitely what I would what I want to say. Okay, so our monthly balance is uh, we should only be negative 500 now. We'll resume. And it looks like that we're going to get 10 more months. I mean, we could go to war with Russia in 10 months, but it looks like we're going to be able to get that other battleship or our first battleship off the line in time for whatever um, conflict comes next. There's not any looming geopolitical crisis, just these tensions with Russia rising, but we might be able to make it a whole nother year, in which case we will, we will have our new battleship um, available for service. Okay. Still have this nagging feeling I could reduce something somewhere. I mean, obviously our, our Oh, actually we're one, exactly one Corvette over what we need for the South Pacific. So I will shift because I'm a penny pincher. I'll shift one to Southeast Asia. I'll shift one up here just so we keep them all organized nicely together up to Northeast Asia. And then that one will get mothballed next turn and we'll save 12, a whole 12. <laughs> It's really noise, but okay, this is great. Authorizing additional funds for the Navy. That's really good. Can't, yes. Oh, interesting. Can you guarantee victory over Russia if war should come? Our well-trained Navy will easily beat their collect collection of rusted old hulks. That is how I feel. Or not without additional funding, which gives us budget up and prestige down. So do we want to raise tensions or do we want to raise budget? And both will have the same effect, but budget is probably the better decision to buy us still a little bit more time for our battleship to come out. Yeah, we are looking much better now because that's two budget increases, right? One was because of the Hawk Party authorizing additional funds. And then one was from the prime minister asking if we could if we can win and we said we need more money which they have now granted for us we're on the up and up 2.5 so we have to wait a couple more months and then we will start i know that people are gonna i know well in particular i should say katori and gaskin are probably saying hey you gotta lay down something other than your big battleships 
you need to have this continuous development going on. But right now, I just the highest priority for me is getting a third battleship. And I think after the next war, immediately after the next war, we will scrap these battleships. I'll probably at that point be updating, hopefully to 1.21. So then uh, we won't the battleships won't have as much help for us anyway, or won't provide as much help. Um, yes, we will allow that. Okay, so the shipboard operations has improved. Now the next thing we want, obviously the huge thing we want, put that on high, is, I know what it is, what is it? What is it called? The, um, yeah, purpose-built fleet carriers. Machinery development, that's because we've been getting our tech from everyone else. Yeah, I'm starting to think that you really do need to just go low on some of this stuff and just assume you're gonna buy it from other people and stay high on some of the other stuff. We'll stay high on turrets and gun mountings, although I don't know what, I think dual, I can't remember where dual purpose guns comes from, turrets and gun mountings or double A. So we'll put this on high now, considering that's gonna be a, a bigger priority. ASW should also be on high and it's on low. I think we'll change that. Submarines are on low, I'm okay with that. Our focus on submarines is going to go down. Um, let's put the light forces and torpedo warfare on high as well. Although we're, I think our technology in that is doing pretty good. AP's on low, that's okay. I'm going to leave torpedo technology on, it'll be one of the rare ones on medium. I think I'll also, eh, you know, I'm going to put amphibious operations on low. I mean, we're able to invade enough stuff as it is, should war come. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, that's good. I wish I could set naval aviation lighter than air to zero, but you, we cannot. So quality one guns for something would be nice. Anything, we only have one, which is, thank God, out of everything it could be, thank God it's the six inch guns, but at the same time, it would be nice to get that for like, you know, anything else. Oh boy. Okay, a colonial crisis with Germany has arisen. You are asked for recommendations. What is your advice to the government? I think a, a fight with Germany now that they retain the Marianas is okay. So I'm going to stoke the fires of war. That was pretty bad, yeah. But we don't do any kind of spying on them. I think a war against Germany would be good because we do have submarines and our submarines should make really short work. And look at that, 5,000. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down the last ship. And this is again, that we just rec just recommend me somebody, the Weikoku. The Weikoku will be the third of the battleship series. Good. And that is probably the last of them because at this point we're gonna start getting better technology Knock on wood, we actually get torpedo defense level three or something like that. That would be long overdue and much appreciated. Man, I can't believe in 1926 we're still dealing with torpedo defense too. What the heck is going on? And you know what, we gotta wrap this video up here. So that was a nice fun, ah, I just love the strategic stuff. Somehow managed a prestige of 62 so far, even though I'm willing to sacrifice that whenever, <laughs> like, you know, for anything. Um, a lot of fun. So until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.